Now for this morning's announcements. Graduation will be held on May 20th, 2012 in the PW Fieldhouse. Seniors, class trip is coming up on Thursday, May 24th. The bus leaves at 6 a.m. and a sign-up sheet is in the office. A list is also posted on the front office door for the American Red Cross Red Card recipients. If you have any questions, talk to Mrs. Rademacher. There are also some new scholarships available. If you have any questions about that, talk to Mrs. Bartlett. The first ever PW Film Festival will take place Saturday, May 12th at 7 p.m. in the PW High School Auditorium. The Film Festival will premiere our 2012 Lip Dub. Also, we'll be including the Sign Club's 2012 Flash Mob and creative short films filmed by the PW students. There will be cash prize awarded for videos of the night and tickets prices are three dollars for students and five dollars for adults so we'll see you there it's gonna be a good time library patrons if you have any overdue books or fines that you don't know about you probably don't want to check the door otherwise you're gonna have this tree waller after you and you know she can be a vicious woman when you get on her bad side don't get on so her yeah, bad side just pay your fines check the door get those fines paid yep. books in all right, students interested in community service hours, St. John Senior Center is looking for four to six students to help out on May 12th. See Mrs. Hicks. The summer, the dead period. It's going to be back to back two weeks from Wednesday, June 27th, running through Tuesday, July 10th. All right, students, please leave your cars parked in the student parking lot after school practices to cut down on all the commotion of school departures. Please do not drive to the field house parking lot like some of you do. Mrs. Kaler's getting a little annoyed with that. Very annoyed. Just a saying. Don't do it. Uh, there's college summer camps Oops. for academics and leadership. If you want more information, talk to Mrs. B. That's all your announcements. Have a good day. And now on to our next segment. Have you ever been frustrated that your device can't connect to the internet? Well, those days are almost over because Puamos Valley is getting Wi Fi. What's Wi Fi? So, what does Wi Fi even, what does it even mean? Want to look it up? Hey, let's do that! You know, if we had this wireless connection, we could look it up right, right here. here. <sighs> what does why fi stand for it means wireless fidelity as mr bayshore said wi-fi is short for wireless fidelity basically it allows multiple people to connect wirelessly to the internet i think the wireless internet is going to be huge especially for our, our teachers that uh, are technologically advanced. We've got several teachers who teach right now without textbooks. And this is going to be utilized with the cart that the students recently purchased from the PWSDC to be able to provide more technology within the classrooms for teachers to use. Along with that, students next year will see an implementation to a new student management system known as PowerSchool. And we'll also be going to cloud-based services um, through Microsoft EES licensing, which is known as Active Directory. So we're pretty excited about what's going to happen next year and are really optimistic about beefing up our technology here for our students and making sure they have the best options to learn. So that means I can use my iPod, right? I think that Wi-Fi will be a really beneficial addition to our school. I think it's going to help out a lot learning in a class, especially with like a lot of the AP classes like AP Bio with so many online resources. It's going to give teachers flexibility. If they want to uh, ask students or tell them that ne they need to do this assignment online, they can use their cell phones or laptops or whatever else and they'll be able to get online without having to wait for a computer. So you're telling me that we're going to be able to like just like get internet without any wires? This is insane. This is the biggest thing that's happened to PW since electricity. Huh? I love surfing.
of some strange looking seniors the past few days. Why are they walking around in the days like crazed zombies? Well, the AP exams are this week and they are working hard to prepare for them. So if you see these poor seniors in the hallway, offer them some words of encouragement and wish them luck on their exams. Now I bring to you a segment about AP classes, the good, the bad, and the just plain ugly. Spend your whole spring break in here doing this. Do you understand? Frick it! Get up! No crying! No crying in this class! Phelan, no hope for you. Got it? Solitary confinement for you, man. In my office. Now. No bread. Or no water. Come on. It's a beautiful morning. All right, who wants extra credit? You have your choice today. Extra credit, money, or candy. Your choice. Just for that smile on your face, here's a 20, all right? Come on. Just have some candy, all right? Come on, give me a hug, hug. Oh, thank you, sir. There you go. All right. This is your assignment for the weekend, ready? Students who take AP classes, um, well, it's a good deal. Uh, you, you get high school credit and you get college credit for the same class. So you get out of paying three credit, four credit hours in tuition. Um, sure, it's, it's more work, but in the end, you're really getting a two-for-one special. I like teaching AP classes um, because the depth of knowledge is my favorite part because we literally get to go um, into the details that we rarely ever get to go to in our other classes. And then also the hands-on labs. I am currently taking four AP classes and if I can pass these tests, I believe that I can potentially get out of college hopefully a semester earlier and save me multiple thousands of dollars. AP Biology. AP English. AP Calculus and AP Psychology. My favorite AP class is English. I really enjoy English and I just thought it was really fun this year and I love learning all the new things you have to learn. I think it will be very helpful for college. AP Biology because of our random discussions. I have learned so much about something that's not relevant to what we're learning. It's probably AP Psych because you get to learn uh, you get to learn about the inner machinations of the human mind. And my favorite AP class I'd have to say is AP Calculus and it's pretty fun and engaging. You have to work in a lot of groups, so it's a good experience, so you should take AP classes.